because you're that close. <laughs> Was ugly. <laughs> and I hit that one with the side of the boat. Went to boat flip him and didn't quite make it, but I mean that's probably a that's an 18 inch fish, but I bet he's three and a half pounds. That is a good fish. I'm gonna turn loose. Caught it on that big easy with that light weight and the uh what kind of toad color. I don't know what color it is. Let's see. Lane Toad. So that's two on that one. My buddy's got one old Ethan over there. He's caught one on a popper and lost a couple on a ribbit. So they're definitely up here in this shallow grass. We're going to stay after it and see if we can't get us a big one. There you go. There you go, how big? 15. Nice little chunky fish. Came back out here to the mouth. Where the, uh, we got some wind moving. It was kind of died in the back of that creek, so we're gonna come out here. First cast with the old uh, chatter wagon and hooked up so uh see if we can't put something together It's a little better. Another one on the old chatterbait. Let's see. 17 and three quarter. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. 
Well, that's only been about five minutes on that chatterbait, so that's pretty good. They're out here biting for sure. Um, I'm actually throwing the Z-Man Chatter Bomb. Wanted to give it a try today. They're only $8 instead of the $15, $16 jack hammer, so I wanted to see what the difference is. Um, obviously, the tungsten head is a, a lot, a big part of the what makes the jack hammer so special, but it seems to be working pretty good, so we're gonna keep throwing it, see if they keep eating it. Well, let's go. Yeah, that one was uh, 17 and three quarter. Well, the first fish came off that clump of grass, yeah. and this one came about 10 foot out in front of the dock, just crawling it. You know, there's just little small clumps of grass out here. Both of them are on the chatter bomb. There's no one. chatter bomb about I'd say that one probably goes 17 too let's see Woo, whoop, whoop, whoop. 17 and a half not a bad fish hadn't found the big ones that we need for our uh, championship here in a couple of weeks but that's some good limit fish there so pretty happy with that makes for a fun trip anyway Woo. but I'm throwing the 3 8 ounce chatter bomb and um, well there you can go you can see why it's cheaper I've already pulled the I don't know if you can see the, the little things come undone the little clip I had to fix that but 3 8 ounce white with a rage menace on the back doing the trick these fish are just out here on this shallow flat it's about it's a really only about two feet deep there's uh, some shad out here and uh, little isolated patches of hydrilla that's left and they're just out here cruising around and uh, fan casting and that's three in the last seven or eight minutes so they're definitely out here so let's go it's just a, it's just a little bit cheaper you know materials and stuff because like all that crap adds up yeah. you saw where I caught that one both those were over 17 well when you got that one in the boat one blew up right here well you know we saw them blow it up right here this morning yeah. and we never really fished out here in the middle stressful trying to put one in the boat without a net when it's 18 inches or something. You gotta lean over and flip it. Yeah, I'm, I, I would rather just grab the line and do the whole, basically boat flip it without using the rod. Jump, baby. Yep. 
another 17 plus. That's a beautiful fish right there. Fat. Mm. Thank you. Might have found me a new bait. Yeah. Well, don't forget to say GoPro stop recording. I know, I got 20 minutes. Okay, I got it. GoPro stop recording. Little guy. Nice one, a little chunk. We made this a long run this afternoon to get into this little pocket, and uh, it's got a ton of eelgrass in it. And our first fish. Hopefully, we'll get us a few more before it gets dark. But throwing the old chatter bomb with a menace <clears throat> on it. That's the second bite I've had in just here in a minute. So. I think it's going to be all right back here. That's the same spot and one just blew up. Right where I caught that last one. short line me. Oh. One bruised me. Had about four foot of line out and tagged me right as I was about to pull it out of the water. Golly, it got her good too. Come here. There we go. Not a bad one. Probably 17. Oh. She gonna jump. There's some uh, shad flickering on top right here. So it's the first time I've seen some activity in a little while. I'm starting to see a little bit here and there in the back of this creek. So we're gonna keep pushing back. We got about 30 more minutes of daylight. So let's stay after. All right guys, that's a wrap of our Gunnersville trip. Uh, headed back in. We got about three piles to go and about 15 minutes of daylight. So we'll definitely be getting back in the dark. Uh, do me a favor, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and we'll catch you next time.